If you wanna do any machine quilting on the Singer Promise 2 model 1512, you will want to purchase a walking foot and or a free motion quilting foot. So both of these are usually used when you're putting layers together with batting in between. So it's a great way to keep all the layers from moving around. This is what you're able to do with a walking foot. Walking foot kind of helps kind of pull the fabric through evenly, working with the teeth underneath and the teeth of the walking foot pulling it in. It's also good if you're working with flannels, fleeces, minkies, cuddle fabrics, anything that wants to stretch, a walking foot is a great extra accessory. Now, if you've ever seen quilting that's kind of more serpentine, loop-de-loop, -loop, or in different patterns, that is when you use a free motion quilting foot. So I'm gonna set the walking foot aside, but both of these do attach to this machine by first unscrewing the screw on the side of the foot. Take your screwdriver and loosen this screw, and just enough until the foot will be um, falling off. You don't have to actually take it all the way out and just set this whole entire ankle and foot aside. Next, a free motion quilting foot does have a place where that screw is gonna go in right off here to the side. And then there's an extra arm up here. You just need to make sure that this arm, when all attached, is positioned above the screw that you take your needle in and out with. So sometimes I'll just kind of come around the back side, kind of bring that around the post. I can see that that little arm is above that screw and then just tighten everything down until everything is nice and snug. Give it a little bit of tighten just so it doesn't wiggle loose. Now traditionally on a machine, you lower the feed dogs. On this particular model, we are going to be covering up the feed dogs with the plate that comes with it. Do make sure that you put the plate on correctly because this way it's gonna be not lined up with the needle. And as you place it over these two little holes, the back part here will kind of snap in place. Now I'm gonna start with this in position here, but I will tell you I have been known to machine quilt without this because it does leave a little bit of thickness in and around that area where it might feel like it's being a little bit of resistance. You can technically do this with any stitch, but a straight stitch is what we're going to start off first. So traditionally, you hold on to this thread, take a stitch to bring up the bobbin thread, and then that way you have a hold of both threads before you start to stitch. Now, here is the trick. Number one, this takes a little practice. Number two, depending on how fast you move your hands and how fast you sew, will determine how long the stitch length actually is. And that takes a little bit of practice as you figure out how fast to move your hands based on how fast the needle's going. So we'll just go ahead and kind of get started and I'll show you what we're working with. So you can quickly see that if I move my hand slowly and move my, and not so very fast, I get lots of little tiny stitches and vice versa. If I go really fast and move my hands, I get lots of bigger stitches. Now do make sure that your presser foot is down when you do start to stitch, because that will make a difference too. So the happy medium between how fast you sew and how much you move your fabric will determine how smooth your stitches are. And again, this is something that we all have taken time to practice with as we stitch. Now this thread can be cut off and then you can start to follow a pattern, go around and you are free motion quilting. Don't be discouraged on the first time you sit down to do this because this is something that is going to take a few times before you actually get the rhythm of speed and moving your hands. When you're done, just go ahead, bring your fabric, your needle up, your, lift up your presser foot and pull it out to the side. But it is something that, uh, try it first with the cover for the feed dogs. I personally will say that this is a little easier even though the feed dogs are moving, it is actually easier to do this without this plate. So don't feel like you have to have those feed dogs covered up because uh, that is what they're for. Start by moving the stitch length to the shortest setting. I'm gonna go ahead and do it once just to prove that it is a little easier to stitch without that um, plate in place.
and then just work to get your stitches nice and even so they look like it is a normal stitch length like when you sew.